hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be doing a video as far as like uh for my uh, followers who were wondering why i had switched to my uh new curl subscription and i'm going to be talking about uh the curl box today basically like i told you guys on instagram or any of you that have asked me questions i switched to a new subscription i'm not gonna you know broadcast it in this video because that's not what it's about but i switched to a new one and some of you were like you know what happened I subscribed to Curlbox because of you, but I basically want to show you, you know, why I decided to discontinue that subscription. So basically, I'm going to be doing the January uh, unboxing for the Curlbox, and I'm just going to come right out and say I'm really disappointed as far as, like, what was still in it. And if you guys are wondering, well, how did you get a box if you canceled? I told you guys that my mom still has a box, so I would be doing unboxings. But honestly, I feel like this is going to be, like, my last unboxing for Curlbox or whatever. But I'm basically going to get into it. Um, it came yesterday on a Saturday, so... You know the products are fresh or whatever and i'm basically going to show you guys the products and the main thing that really got me upset is that the box is twenty dollars a month for a subscription and honestly when i did the research on you know what was in the box i got two prices as far as like what the box totals so i'm kind of wondering in my head like where did the rest of the money go as far as like the twenty dollars worth of products so the first thing that came inside the actual box they have the curl box and then you have the actual like a uh, box that your stuff comes in like the typical brown box this was the first thing that had came in here or in the box i should say this was on top this is the product that could not fit inside and this is basically the lnt soy organics twist and lock gel and yeah this is what it looks like i'll zoom it so you guys can see it this is what this looks like and as far as like the smell of the product i haven't used it yet my mom used it and she said that you know she did enjoy it but smelling and it smells good like i said i haven't used it because i can't so i can't really give you guys my full review but i'm just showing you what came in the box this came in the box and this was the only full size sample that came in the january box for 2013 and I picked up the box and I was kind of like, where's the rest of the products? But I'm going to continue on. So, you know, when you open the box, of course, it comes in like the regular, you know, wrapping paper, the pink wrapping paper, or the signature wrapping paper. And of course, you know, like in my last review, I showed you guys the booklet that it came with. So I'll zoom in again so you guys can see. This is the booklet that came in this, uh, you know, month's box. And it's not even two pages it's just you know one full page and of course it tells you like what's on the in the box and this is the uh founder my leak of curl box and i guess it tells you all the rest of the stuff that's in the box like it usually does but yeah it's pretty much it on the back it has a couple of nice pictures and that's the front cover so that was the booklet for this month now on to the rest of the items that were in the box when i opened it i was like where's the rest of the stuff in the box like i was really like just shocked at what came but this is basically what came in the box hopefully you guys can see that it's extremely light and i thought maybe some products were left out but anyway moving on so this is the oyen hairdo and this is for daily hair quenching lotion this is what that looks like and I know you guys are probably like is that a full size sample actually no this is not it's a mini size sample for like um the company is called Oyen Handmade and if you don't want to buy their full sa size samples bottles or their full size bottles you can buy their mini so you know you won't be wasting too much money if you try and find that you don't like it. So this is what came in the box. The next item that came in the box would be um, a brush. And honestly, when it came in, the brush came, I pulled it up, but the brush came just like this. Like if you guys can see, the uh, packaging for the brush was basically, it was supposed to be locked on into like this little, uh, you know, bracelet, but... It was already broken so it came basically all discombobulate like this the main thing that i besides like the packaging being out of whack the main thing i didn't like is the fact that uh do you guys hear that this brush is like it says it's a hundred percent pure bore bristle and it's supposed to be a deeper bore stimulate stimulating scalp brush and i'm gonna be quite honest with you i would never put this on my hair like this is supposed to be i 
natural hair box that's geared to women with curly hair I would never put this brush like if I show you guys like this brush is hard it's not soft like I have a brush that I use for my hair as far as like you know styling and this brush like if you can see it's pretty soft it's it's really soft my hair is in there excuse that but it's soft compared to this one I'll go a closer look at it. Sorry if my brush is dirty, guys, because like I said, I use this for styling. So if some of my hair is in it, but you can just see that, like, the brush, are, the bristles in here, in my brush, they're a lot more compacted together, and they're, you know, they're not too uh, long as far as this one goes. Like this one is meant for like, you know, natural hair, curly hair. This won't tangle my hair or basically rip it out. This brush is hard as hell. I would never put this on my hair. Like I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. So. I was really taken aback when I saw that, you know, this was in the box because honestly, I would never use this in my hair, nor would I ever promote using this kind of brush for natural hair. So yeah, this is another one that came in the box. Next thing that came that would be a part of the other two that are full size would be this right here. And this is basically the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Treatment. And this is what that looks like, a close-up. And this is um, 1.75 fluid ounces. So this is like a deep treatment. This has come in, you know, the rest of the box. Before. Honestly, the rest of the products are free samples. So I wouldn't even count that as to being something to look forward to because I could get this in my local beauty supply and also sometimes when you buy some of these products, they stick them in the box. Like when I used to relax my hair, it would come with the actual cream, the developer, and all the rest of the stuff in the box. And then sometimes they would give you like something else, like one of these. So I'm going to get into that. Basically, this is supposed to be, this is a part of the Cream of Nature Argan Oil um, from Morocco Line. And this is supposed to be a sample for the edges. And as you guys can see, I'll get in even closer so you guys can see this. It says right here, free sample. It's free. So... I mean, okay. <laughs> this one, the next one is the Mazzani True Textures Curl Saw for Natural Curls Moisturizing Leave-In Cream. And again, if I were to turn it on the back, hopefully, can I zoom in any further? I, hopefully you guys can see that. But it says, again, sample use only, not for sale. So another free sample right here that was included in the box. And... The next one is again from the cream of uh, nature brand, the Argan Oil Morocco um, line. And this is the sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo. Sorry if it wasn't in the camera, guys. And again, as you can see, it says it right here, free sample. And the main thing that really got me is that like when I first subscribed to Curlbox, they had like at least maybe two to three full size samples like I'm not talking about little samples but full size samples in their box and even if like they sent you um you know maybe like minis to try if you like it or not they were bigger than two fluid ounces so it just you know like it just uh, I don't know like it just seems like the products that we got as each month went on I just wasn't excited to get it and I just really wasn't having some stuff in the box I found that I couldn't even use for my hair so I didn't like it and that's mainly the reason why I had decided to cancel the subscription and for me when I get uh, like a new beauty box or you know makeup box whatever boxes are out there I usually tally up how much this stuff costs and determine if it's the same value as what I pay for my monthly subscription and that helps in me determining if I want to keep it or not so I did go online and I did you know do some research as far as how much of these uh, items cost as far as like you find them in the store and if you can't find one in the store I went to the official site to see how much these items cost and I came up with two prices and both of the prices even with these uh, you know calculations it still does not add up to $20 for this box so that was very, very kind of shocking and also like I felt like it was insulting as well because I feel like if you pay for something that's worth $20, you should get products that are at least $20 or maybe, you know, above that because in the past, I know when I calculated all the items from the curl boxes, they always went past $20. So I really don't know what's going on, but like I said, this is kind of the reason why I can't see you guys. So I'm sorry for those of you who are kind of shocked that I had switched. But anyway, going on to the calculations. So the first thing that I calculated was this brush. 
and when I went online to see how much it was cost, how much it would cost, it was four dollars and forty seven cents at Walmart. And again, I'll have all the links below so you guys can see and you know link it all all this stuff and tally and for yourselves you can see. So at Walmart online, this was brush was four dollars and forty seven cents, and I know I've seen this brush in my beauty supply store for a dollar ninety nine. So I mean one ninety nine to four dollars and 47 cents for this brush the next thing would be the oyen hairdo and that is uh 350 on the website so even if you were to get it in the store i don't know if they sell it in beauty supply stores but we're going to keep this at 350 so three dollars and fifty cents for this two ounce bottle. thing my mom actually tried this product before and she said she liked it but she said she got it from Rite Aid, and they usually like your beauty supply stores and you know all the pharmacies they usually sell these but she told me that she purchased this from Rite Aid for a dollar and ninety nine and that's how much they sell in a Rite Aid. But when I went online to see how much, you know, these cost, you can actually get a pack of 12 of these in a box for, it was $3.52. So, yeah, online price and individual price and a pack of 12. So, I mean, that's saying a lot. And then the last product would be this right here, the Twist and Lock Gel. And I saw that online they had this where it retailed for $4.58. And I know I saw this product in the local beauty supply store and uh, it was for $3.99. So if you tally up everything from online prices to, you know, your local beauty supply store or Sally's, it still does not equate to $20 for this box. And like I said, I won't even go as far as to include these because these are free. So, I mean, I'm not even going to try to find how much this will cost like. This is 0.10 ounces for this. So I mean like no one's going to sell this. So when you equate everything from the online price, it comes out to $14.54. $14.54 for these products online. And if you were to go like, you know, in your neighborhood, Loki Beauty Supply, Sally's, whatever, it came up to $11.47. So even so with those two calculations, it still doesn't e equal up to $20. So again, guys, I apologize for all of you that, you know, because I would always put my boxes on Instagram and things like that. And a lot of you actually, you know, were persuaded to, you know, sign up for this box. But like I said, I had it for about six months and you guys asked why I switched. It was mainly because I had it for six months and I always try, you know, things for a variety of time. And for the most part, I was enjoying when I first got my box. I think my first box was in, I think it was july or june one of the two and i loved it like it was amazing i would always post what i got like curlbox was on it at one point and the stuff that they gave like it was packed like even in my reviews you saw like it was packed it was falling out the box all that but i don't know what's going on and honestly i have to say i'm happy that i did cancel because if i paid twenty dollars for this i would be infuriated I really would be infuriated and I would just that's it so I feel like this would be the best time to do the review for you guys and show you guys exactly the reason why I did not keep this subscription so again I apologize to you guys for you know the ones of you who felt persuaded to you know join the box or whatever but I'm not gonna say it was all bad because it had its good times but for the most part I don't know what happened but I'm sorry money is tight we're in a recession and this stuff like to buy you know a subscription dedicated to hair monthly on a monthly basis is like another bill and i'm sorry but i feel like this is not worth twenty dollars that's just my personal opinion so again that's the mainly the reason why i canceled and i definitely wanted to show you guys exactly the reason why I discontinued that subscription so again guys I apologize you know if you felt a little bit left out in the dark like I left you guys hanging or straggling but this is the main reason why and I feel like this video was necessary for those of you who were concerned as far as why I canceled but that's pretty much it guys um, like I said I'll have all the links below so you guys can actually see for yourselves how much these products cost and you can tally them and if you have any other questions as far as like you know me canceling or anything else I'll be happy to answer them so guys that's pretty much this video and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys